check out Paddy Power's new and exclusive kicker feature. Add a kicker to your bet and the more your team wins by, the more you win. And for this weekend, if your first Premier League kicker loses, get your money back as a free bet. Max £10 money back, 18 plus gamblerware.co.uk, TNC Supply. Hi there, Bruce Millington, Mark Langdon, Joe Champion and Paddy Power's Adrian Croak. We're looking ahead to two live Sunday games, 1.30 in the Premier League. We've got Tottenham versus Stoke. Tottenham pretty short, I should think, aren't they, Adrian? That they are four to eleven at home with the draw eighteen to five and Stoke eight to one. Four to eleven, that's spectacularly short, Mark. Too short? Um but possibly, yeah. I mean they've won nine in a row at White Hart Lane, ten in a row if you count the Wembley game against CSK Moscow, but they have got this Thursday, you know, a, a very important game for them. We're speaking before the result of that um is known. I assume that they're going to go pretty full strength. Um, to try to overturn it. I was looking at um, maybe Tottenham to win and both teams to score. If you wanted to play it safer, then maybe just the both teams to score. Because I was looking at Stoke's record and it surprised me that they'd scored in 11 of their 13 away matches um, this season. That includes trips to United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool. The only, um, yeah, the, the Premier League-wise though, they don't keep many clean sheets away from home. Hull and Watford are the only two... Uh, Premier League clean sheets. Crouchy's back in favour now, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he is back in favour. I mean, last time out against West Brom, conceding early to West Brom is never a good idea because um, even at home, you know exactly what a, a Pulis team is going to do there. So uh, maybe not a massive surprise that they didn't manage to break um, the, the, the baggies down. But um, yeah, Spurs are a more attacking team. There will be more opportunities to hit on the counter-attack and Crouchy will, will, will get a lovely reception. Oh, will he? Oh, yeah. Well, he scored yeah. the... Um, he scored the because goal. he scored the goal against Milan, he did, didn't he? He scored the goal um, against uh, Milan, and he someone always... tweeted that eleven the other week that played it was uh, it looked it was awful. terrible. Yeah, paper, cranky R, uh, Pino. Um, I mean, uh, you, you had Woody at the back, uh, Jonathan Woodgate, I think, um, Aurelio Gomez in yeah. goal, but. Um, and he, he tweets whenever Justin what, Edinburgh yeah that, that, the horse one night in Milan uh, whenever that runs Crouchy always tweets about it and and, and mentions he's one night in Milan oh. so um, he, he'll get an excellent reception no he's doubt. a bit of a national treasure now isn't he Crouchy <laughs> yeah. everyone loves him don't they um, what, so you're going for oh, Tottenham I'm, and both teams Tottenham to, to score Tottenham both teams to score yeah uh, Joey what are you going to go for um, I think Tottenham it depends on how they come out of tonight's match but um, they should win it Comfortably, really. Uh, uh, a canter, the... you could say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that all right? Yes. <laughs> oh, they're a canter. Um, <laughs> yeah, they pl the last two games against Stoke, they won both of them 4 0, and that was at the uh, well, the stadium. Formerly known as the Formerly Britannia. known as the Britannia, now sponsored by a bookmaker who's not Paddy Power. Bet 365, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. that's the one. Um, yeah, they, they were really impressive in both those games, I thought. And um, yeah, like I say, you can, you can probably look at. Tottenham to win quite comfortably and I think maybe Harry Kane to score first if he plays you know if he plays a full 90 minutes on Thursday they might opt against that but if he starts then yeah start. 11 to 4 it'll start mate okay yep. jolly good uh, Adrian what are your thoughts on this one yeah I, I'm expecting Tottenham should have enough to do it it is again depending on how much they're going to have to expend tonight if you see any extra time right and going on tonight that might affect it as well uh, yeah it, it's heavily dependent after tonight but I'll, if, if they have just comfortably sold up by like the 70 minute tonight, I think the 4 to 11 is about right for Tottenham. Okie dokes. 4.30, the EFL Cup final, Man United versus Southampton. Um, what do we what do we think is going to happen here? Let's get the betting. First of all, in the 90 minutes and also to lift the trophy, please, Adrian. So at the moment, United are 4 to 5 to win it, uh, 5 to 2 for the draw and Southampton are 15 to 4. And uh, our lift, four, lift the trophy market, it's... Uh, 8 to 11, Man United, even money for Southampton. OK, Mark, what's going to happen here? Yeah, I think probably at them prices, I'll probably take United to lift the trophy. Um, and you, 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 you've got extra time and pens on your side as well, really. Um, I, I, I just Southampton without Van Dyke concerns me because they are a team that, that's sort of been built on being excellent at the back and then trying to, you know, take whatever they can sort of going forward. And Gabbiadini certainly perk them up in, in in sort of that sense. But I just, I worry about them defensively against the quality of Ibrahimovic. I mean, Font was, I, I think he was on the way down, but I don't think they would have sold him if they would have known that Van Dyke was going to be ruled out for so long. So it's, uh, well. it's Yoshida and, and who's the... Stevens the, the, has been Steve, the, the I mean, young Steve's one. He's 23, he's not yeah, that Yeah, I mean, but he's, he's relatively inexperienced. They, they brought uh, Caceres in from... 
well, I think he's from Juventus, but he's barely played for, for so long that I, I can't imagine you could stick him in for a Wembley final. United have done, I mean, they've been beating a lot of weak teams, it has to be said, in various competitions, but they have won 15 of their last 19 in all competitions. And I, I just sort of, I don't know if this is a bit muggy, but I'm just sort of leaning towards their big players in Pogba and Ibrahimovic. I, I do think that there's something to be said for um, you know, players that have been there before and sort of played in these big games. It, it's a new experience for a lot of the Southampton uh, players. And if they're not, you know, I, I'm hoping they don't freeze because they're a decent side. But I, I, I just think United are, um, have got a bit more experience and quality that will eventually tell. You're the last person in the world, Mark, who'd ever do anything muggy, I'm telling you. Um, Joe, Southampton, so we, you know, we're obviously underdogs, weak at the back, but they can surprise, you know, they're surprisingly good sometimes, aren't they? They are. Um, I, I think they, yeah, like you say, they, I don't think they're going to be too bad at the back early on. I think they'll set up to sort of nullify any Man United threats, whoever's playing, really. They'll stick to the system and uh, hopefully it'll work for them. Um, like you say, they they can uh, they've certainly got the attacking talent to cause Man United worries, but I I think it's a final, so they won't want to give anything away too early. And the bet I like is um, a goal after the 29th minute, even money. I think Man United Mikatarians, obviously. Uh, I don't know if he's been completely ruled out after last night, but um, below that, that yeah, yeah. So they haven't got him in the squad. I think they've actually drifted slightly for, from uh, eight to eleven yesterday with power. Um, yeah, I can see why. So maybe they won't be so quite so uh, potent in attack without him. So Southampton might be able to hold on, but I think eventually United will probably get the better of them. Okay, though. So with that bet, what, at what point do you win when the clock is on 29? 29 oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there has to be a goal afterwards. Of yeah. Oh, does yeah. there? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, That's yeah. the trouble, isn't it? You get you get to the you get to the twenty ninth, okay, and then, and then <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, all you, of a sudden I've... you go from screaming at them to defend <laughs> to screaming at them to not yeah. defend. It's one of those funny bets, isn't it? Uh, Adrian, are you a Man U fan? I can't remember. No, I'm at Liverpool. Liverpool, <laughs> sorry, mate. I didn't mean to uh, get that one wrong, but I knew it was one or the other. So, what do you think is going to happen here? Uh, yeah, I think the prices are about right. If you're looking for a bet, Zlatan Ibrahimovic for a goal scorer, I think he's priced pretty much too big almost every week. He's just a massive part of their goals. He's like 45% of the goals scored, I think, for him this year. Some insane figure like that. And what so. price is he on this occasion? He's 72 here at the moment. 72, that sounds all right, doesn't it? Yeah. Okie dokes. Right, let's look at the Monday game. Check out Paddy Power's new and exclusive kicker feature. Add a kicker to your bet, and the more your team wins by, the more you win. And for this weekend, if your first Premier League kicker loses, get your money back as a free bet. Max £10 money back, 18 plus gambleaware.co.uk, TNC Supply. OK, so the Monday Night Live game. Welcome back to Monday Night Football. 8 o'clock, Leicester versus Liverpool. Leicester, um, I read something on the Telegraph uh, Twitter feed that said, is this the turning point for their system? I mean... I watched the game and I'm sure they lost it, but the, the way they're reacting, it's, it's weird, isn't it? It's as yeah. if they won or, or did something amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were absolutely outplayed, somehow nicked a 2-1 defeat, and it, it's the most absurd overreaction to a game since England thrashed Greece 2-2 <laughs> in 2001. <laughs> yeah. Very peculiar. Um, how are we betting here, then? I should think, you know, for all that they they were fantastic in uh, in thrashing Seville 1-2, <laughs> that they're, they're pretty big price here, aren't they, Adrian? Yeah, they're at home to Liverpool. They're 92 to win it. The draw's 3-1, to one, and Liverpool are 6-10 to 10 away. Blimey, everything has its price. 9-2, to two, Leicester. Yeah, I mean... But they're I, back. I, well, yeah, as you mentioned though, that, and alluded to, Bruce, I mean, um, they did lose the game. Amazing, isn't it, that apparently it was a, a, a performance full of fight and spirit and determination and yet had Sevilla not hit the woodwork twice and missed a penalty everyone would have said oh you know it's further proof that, that, yeah. that Ranieri yeah. needs to go he's lost yeah. the dressing room I mean you can I, I do think they'll take confidence in a weird way from losing only 2-1 and they did play better in the second half um, when they, they they had a, a, a slight go. I mean, if they would have continued playing like they did in that first half, it, I, I think they would have lost by three or four. They went a little bit higher up the pitch, and um, I, I, I can just see them getting beat here, though, against Liverpool. And the, the bet I like is Sadio Mane to, to score first. And I was looking at this, he scored in three of his last four away games, but amazing record Liverpool with and without Sane, uh, Mane this season. With him, uh, they've won 16, drawn five, lost two. Without him, won three, drawn three, lost five. The oh. win percentage, 
dropped from 70% with him to 27% without him, which are, there can't be too many players in the That's Premier massive, League. massive, isn't it? That, that have got... And that, that, I'm sure there is some randomness in there somewhere, but it's absolutely incredible that yeah. you know, the drop-off. Um, Liverpool have had a couple of weeks off. Uh, Leicester have uh, have had a real chasing uh, in, in Seville on Wednesday. I, I, I can see Liverpool winning uh, and winning quite convincingly. And like I say, the, the bet I like there is Mane to score first. What price is Mane, Adrian? Uh, Mane is sitting there at 92 at the minute. 92, so that sounds right, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, particularly particularly with um, Paddy's going each way. So, I mean, mm. you, you, you know... Is it, that, what's that, a third any time? Uh, it's like, I think it's like, the yeah, for the first five goal scorers. Right, so isn't it? Um, I'm not exactly... I think Liverpool will win. I don't think they'll, they'll win by more You're than five. You're tapping the six <laughs> yeah. just to break your heart. Joey, what do you think happened here, mate? Yeah, I agree with Mark, really. Um, I think that um, Leicester... It two one was very very kind to them last night, wasn't it? I think it should have been four five to one Seville, and um, yeah, they couldn't gloss over it all like that. But it it wasn't a great performance from them. Um, Liverpool they played nine games in January. They by the end of it they looked drained physically, emotionally, all all of that. And um, yeah, since then they've had a bit of a rest. They've knocked out the FA Cup by Wolves, so they didn't play last week. So they've had a couple of weeks off. So you think they'll be too much. fresh and moment to go. Well, how do we exploit that with a bet? Just a straight win bet on Liverpool? I think we've seen Liverpool start very fast. I mean, they're, they're a bit short away from home to just have a straight win bet on them, I think. Um, six to four, half-time, full-time, seems like a reasonable bet. Certainly does, doesn't it? Adrian, are you going to be back in your beloved Liverpool? Uh, six to ten seems a little short, but I, I couldn't see Leicester doing that. And as you said last night, I mean, the goalkeeper was the best player in the field. Well, was their best player in the field. That's never a sign that you've won the game exactly, so... The reporting on it seems a bit odd. Um, yeah, Liverpool maybe result in both teams to score. We know the issues that they've had with their defence, so you can get Liverpool to 23 to 10 there. OK, jolly good. Now, Mark, the return uh, game at, at Filbert Street, um, it's going to be, a t a, you know, I, I, is it one of those trap matches? Because I saw that, uh, I, I'm not quite sure what Paddy Parra are. I've seen most bookmakers are ten, 11 to 10 Seville. And I think I want to absolutely pile on that, have the absolute lot on, even though they only need a draw. Is it a trap match? Um, I, I think you're always... You've got to accept, if you back that 11 to 10, that if they draw... You need them to win more than they do, don't Yeah, you? That is, that, that's, always, that's always part of it. But it is factored into the price because... Uh, uh, and I suppose you could argue um, that Sevilla's away record is nowhere near as good as their home record... But, I mean, the, you look at the two teams and there was a big golf in quality between them, wasn't there? On, on And Wednesday. also, they look like they might fancy it on the counter against that. Like yeah, that, yeah, and th there is that. Um, but I, I am always wary when a team only needs to draw the game or potentially lose it high scoring that um, it, it always worries me slightly. I'd okay. expect that. Sam Pauli's probably just going to go out and win the game. Though. Yeah, I mean, like he is a manager that does, wants to win wherever he goes. So, I mean... Um, I'm going to... You haven't talked me out of No, it. no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to wanna, wanna lay that particularly. OK, and Joe, you're a Milton Keynes Dons fan, am, aren't you? Yeah. What's the latest with them? Because Mark Langdon called the most overrated team in the Football League last week, I think, didn't you? Um, in terms of the market, yeah, right, the market yeah. overrates them. Yeah. Where are they in the league at the moment? Um... Well, we, or yeah, we won't go down, I don't think, but um, we won't be going anywhere else either. Um, yeah, sort of. Did you follow them from Wimbledon? Or we, or... Yeah, it's, um, I was a Wimbledon fan and um, my younger brother was in the youth setup at the time of the move, which is why we ended up following the club. Right, up, 50 miles up the M1. But yeah, because yeah. I mean, it's not really the sort of thing that Wimbledon fans admit to, that, is it? It's no. There are some, aren't there? There, there, are, there, there are, are a few, yeah. Jolly good, excellent. Yeah. Okay, and who have they got this weekend? Uh, who have we got this weekend? <laughs> You've given up on the season, haven't yeah. you, Joe? Oh, I see. Uh, like that, they've it? got Shrewsbury. Yeah, Shrewsbury. Got, yeah, Shrewsbury. At I home. think we'd win that. But yeah. Shrewsbury have got Freddie Ladapo up front. He's banging them in. The, uh, the guy we got from Margate. He's yeah, quite useful at that yeah, level. Yeah, apparently. they've improved as well since they changed their manager. Absolutely. Adrian, anything to tell us? What's happening in life over in Power Towers? Everyone oh, happy? Everyone's happy, yeah. Julie, definitely. what's happening at the weekend? Working? Working weekend, yeah, in oh, yeah, for the weekend. Is it a good atmosphere, though? Do they low on uh, food and drink for you? Well, better than the FA Cup weekends, anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're no good, are they? Right, OK, chaps, thank you very much indeed. Uh, don't forget, Mark Langdon's tips for the weekend will appear in Saturday's Racing Post. And join us next Thursday for another Racing Post football postcast. Check out Paddy Power's new and exclusive Cash Card Plus, available to use online, at ATMs, or even down the local. 
Paddy Power, you beauty!